In our morning rounds medical news this week, a high tech tool in the fight against a deadly disease. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer related deaths in the U.S. Colonoscopy has been found to reduce the risk of death from the disease by 70% or more. It does that by detecting cancer at an early curable stage and by finding and removing benign polyps before they have time to turn into cancer. But doctors don't always find every polyp. Dr. John LaPook is here to tell us more. John? Good morning, Anthony. As a gastroenterologist, I've learned that colon polyps can be tough to spot. They may be partly hiding behind a fold or so flat and subtle they're barely visible to the eye. It's a real problem, I'm going to tell you. We're going to show you how a computer may help me out, not just as a doctor, but as a patient getting my screening colonoscopy at the very endoscopy unit where I work at NYU Langone Health. As always, it starts with the prep. So here goes. To properly cleanse my colon, I drank. It's really not that hard and drank and drank. Four liters later, I was ready for my close-up. Good to the last drop. And the doctor becomes the patient. Yes. Any discomfort? No. The colonoscopy will be done by Dr. Mark Pochapin, chief of gastroenterology at NYU Langone Health. So we're doing something fancy schmancy today. That's right. Assisting Dr. Pochapin is a second set of eyes, a computer powered by artificial intelligence or AI. So the good news is, is that what we do really prevents cancer, but we do miss polyps, and we have to recognize that anybody, no matter how good they are, has the potential to miss something because we're only human. A recent study published in the journal Nature Biomedical Engineering found artificial intelligence was able to detect polyps more than 90% of the time. Researchers in China had fed the computer more than 5,000 images from colonoscopies and the computer used those pictures to teach itself to recognize polyps, especially ones that are hard for humans to see. John, you really did a great job with the prep. But the polyps that we're trying to improve upon detection are those flat ones, very subtle, blend into the background. And this is where artificial intelligence could be most helpful. Now Dr. Seth Gross is heading one of the first studies exploring whether AI can help find polyps not just in a computer lab, but in patients actually undergoing colonoscopy. How long ago did your study begin? About two months ago. So really, I'm kind of one of the early people in the study. Your colon's at the forefront. <laughs> right, that's good. And, and what did you find? So we did find a, a couple of polyps. All right, Seth, I'm going to remove it. The first polyp spotted by the AI, highlighted by a blue box, was very subtle and was removed by Dr. Pochapin. So what we do is we put that loop of wire around it, that was nice, Seth. It really picked up that flat little pop. Were you able to uh, obtain the tissue? Once the anesthesia wore off, I was able to see it for myself. Hey, John, welcome to your colonoscopy. There was a little tiny polyp. Uh, did and you the AI? See it? Yeah, the, the AI. AI I think. No, uh, I'm not sure who saw it first. As Dr. Pachapin withdrew the instrument, he There's spotted another right. small polyp. There it is finding it now. Now the AI is showing it. Showed up on the AI, huh? That is so cool. I was happy to hear the polyps were totally benign and not precancerous, but you can see how important it is to yeah. do a good prep because they were so subtle you could easily have yeah. missed it had I not done a good prep. Are there any other screening techniques on the horizon? Like yeah, well, this one is not ready for prime time yet. There are for people who don't want to do the colonoscopy. There are stool tests looking for blood, looking for DNA. And then in the future, this is very cool. They're discovering that there's a link between the certain species of bacteria in the colon and a propensity to get colon polyps and colon cancer. And you're going to see, we're going to do a web extra. It's, it's up there right now. Uh, I do an interview with fourth-year medical student Rachel Sarnoff at NYU Langone, where I'm a professor, I have to, in full disclosure. And she's working in the lab of Dr. Martin Blazer, and they're looking at this possible link. And could you believe it? In the future, possibly doing a breath test to see wow. do you have that's, a risk of getting wow. That's amazing. Well, we have to say, your colon looks well, spotless. Thank you very much. Your colon's at the really forefront. Or the back front. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Lefouf.